intersections with AI today. And it came from the insurance you know, company and it came from manufacturing solar panels and from higher education instruction. And you know, there were people interested in emotion and empathy, um, affective variables. So enough diversity of interest. Kudos to Arendelle Academy. I think it's so important for uh, high schools and places of knowledge to bring in different experts to talk about these issues. All the changes that we're seeing are happening so fast and the tech companies are the ones that are leading these innovations and that's just wrong. That's one aspect of the limitation. Another aspect is actually related to the technical uh, or the technological limitation, right? Because normally these AI systems are machine to function very well, they need uh, very high computing power and also a lot of data. I think it's really important for people to interact with the real world with their hands rather than just see images on a screen. In fact, there's a very good uh, rationale for that is that probably our brains first developed because of the way we were doing things with our hands. Including AI in the curriculum for these students is really great work and holding these conferences, these free conferences to connect with people and network with others and talk about AI is something that definitely that more schools should be doing and I commend the Arendelle Academy for doing such great work for the community. I don't know any other place that does this kind of public and, you know, extremely diverse group coming together to have these kind of discussions and the round tables that we had afterwards that allowed people to sort of mingle and have many different kinds of conversations. The demos we had about the, the robots were very interesting. So I I'm very impressed by a place like this that can serve as sort of a magnet for bringing various groups together to have these conversations and I hope that these these talks and things that something can come out of this that can be shared with an even wider group of people.